Hi, my name is Paul Geary and welcome back to Base Hacks. Uh, this time I would like to take a look at some hammer-on technique. So basically a hammer-on is where you play a note, uh, could be an open string or it could be an actual fretted note, and then you hammer on the next note. So if we take an open E and then hammer on say F sharp, so you'll notice that I'm just basically putting pressure on my fretting hand to get the note to actually project rather than actually plucking the note out. And then what I'm thinking of doing, let's go to F sharp on the D string, so that's fourth fret, and play the octave. So if we add a little bit of rhythm to that, built around the octave shape within F sharp, okay? So I'm going to add two extra notes. I'm going to play B, second fret A string, hammer on the C sharp. And then I'm going to play E, let's put it as a pull off, and then hammer on the F sharp. Okay? So basically you put all of that together, there's the B and C sharp, and E and F sharp. Quite simple, but again, make sure you've got that, that internal clock happening, okay? Ideally a metronome, or even a real living drummer, uh, would be excellent, but um, it's really important. If you're gonna get something in the pocket and have a really good sense of time, you've really gotta have that internal clock, okay? So, slam in a double stop if we wanted to. Um, we'll pluck two notes out at the same time. So let's go for E and a B. Quite nice power chord. So you can speed it up as I just did, but the most important thing is that you keep it in time, okay? The groove, that's the most important thing. So that is really a little, little bit of a tutorial just on hammer-ons. It will take you a while to get the pressure on your fretting hand, whether you're right-handed or, or, or left-handed, to get the note to actually project. So you need to kind of persevere with that a little bit. But it all comes down to practice. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, so there we are, some hammer-on technique for you. Bye for now.